Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim. We are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students, in last lecture we did question number 3 and question number 4 from exercise 5.5 the topic is more complex equations today we are going to do some more questions from this exercise but before I start our today's lecture I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is AdMath watch previous lectures of this exercise after watching previous lectures you will have good command on this topic let's start question number five the curve y is equals to root x and the line 5y is equals to x plus 4 intersect at the point P and Q part A write down an equation satisfied by the coordinates of P and Q so students we have two equations y is equals to root x and 5y equals to x plus 4 the requirement is to write down an equation which satisfy by the x coordinates of P and Q it's very easy just replace this y the value of root x in this equation so 5 y means 5 root x is equals to x plus 4 so this is the answer of part a because the requirement is to write down an equation satisfied by the coordinates of p and q part b solve your equation in part A so how to solve let phi is equals to root x then squaring on both side you will get phi square is equals to x so our equation of part A is 5 root x it means 5 y is equals to x plus 4 it means y square plus 4 so y square plus 4 y sorry y square 5y becomes minus 5y plus 4 is equals to 0 now solve the equation this is a quadratic equation easily solved by using method of factorization that is middle term break method y square minus 4y minus y plus 4 is equals to 0 taking y is common y minus 4 minus 1 is common y minus 4 is equals to 0 y minus 4 y minus 1 is equals to 0 y is equals to 4 and y is equals to 1 but this is not our final answer because our question is in the form of x so we have to give the answer which is in the form of x so y is root x is equals to 4 and y is root x is equals to 1 taking square on both side you will get x is equals to 16 and squaring on both side you will get x is equals to 1 now the requirement is to find the coordinates of p and q so put this value of x 
16 and x is equals to 1 in any one of the given equation y is equals to x root x or the next equation so y is equals to root x so y is equals to x is 16 16 root is 4 therefore the coordinates of p are 4 and 16 similarly y is equals to root x x is 1 so 1 root is 1 so coordinates of q are 1 comma 1 so we have two answers 1 1 and 16 4 hope you understand entire question number 5 very easy question and very important according to examination point of view move to question number 6 very easy question part A solve 2 power 2x minus 6 2 power x plus 8 is equals to 0 so we have to use the method of substitution for solving these kind of equations if we let if we suppose y is equals to 2x so obviously y square becomes 2 power 2x so 2 power 2x replaced by y square minus 6 2 power x is y plus 8 is equals to 0 this equation becomes a quadratic equation can easily be solved by using middle term break method y square minus 4y minus 2y plus 8 is equals to 0 first two factor last two factor y is common y minus 4 plus 2 is common y minus 4 is equals to 0 y minus 4 y minus 2 is equals to 0 y is equals to 4 and y is equals to 2 but obviously this is not our final answer y is 2 power x is equals to 4 and y is 2 power x is equals to 2 from here 2 power x 4 can be write 2 square so according to the rule of indices x must be 2 and this is 2 power 1 so x is equals to 1 hence our answer is x is equals to 2 or 1 or you can write 1 comma 2 very easy move to part B so sometime substitution can easy your work like these types of questions part B part B is 3 power 2x minus 10 3 power x plus 9 is equals to 0 obviously we have to let we have to suppose y is equals to 3x then y square is equals to 3 power 2x so it will become y square minus 10 y plus 9 is equals to 0 9 ones are 9 9 minus 1 is 10 9 is equals to 0 first two factor last two factor taking y is common y minus 9 minus 1 is common y minus 9 is equals to 0 y minus 9 y minus 1 is equals to 0 y is equals to 1 comma 9 so what is y y 
was 3 power x we let is equals to 1 3 power x is equals to 9 1 can be write 3 power 0 and 9 can be write 3 square so from here x is equals to 0 and from 3 power x and 3 power 2 x is 2 so the answer is 0 comma 2 this is our final answer hope you enjoy this part part C Two power two into two x minus nine into two power x plus four is equals to zero. So we have to let y is equals to two x, y square becomes two power two x. So two y square minus nine y plus four is equals to zero. Four two is eight, eight one is eight, eight plus one nine. So 2y square minus 8y minus y plus 4 is equals to 0. Taking 2y is common, y minus 4 minus 1 is common, y minus 4 is equals to 0. <coughs> so y minus 4, 2 minus 1 is equals to 0. y is equals to 4, y is equals to 1 upon 2. So we have two answers. What we let? Y is 2 power x is equals to 4. 2 power x is equals to 1 upon 2. Now we have to apply indices rule. 2 power x is equals to 2 square and 2 power x is equals to 2 power minus 1. From here x is equals to 2 and from here x is equals to minus 1. So minus 1 comma 2 or 2 comma minus 1 is our answer. Move to part D. there is a mistake in printing after part C you are seeing again part C so I am writing second time part C so don't focus on the part focus on the question Three power two x plus one twenty eight three power x plus nine. So first we have to write this three power two x plus one is three power two x dot three power one because dot means multiply and when bases are same then powers are added. So three power two x multiply by three again you will get three power two x plus one. Now let y is equals to three power x. So it is three. 3 power 2x is y square minus 28y plus 9 is equals to 0. 9 3 is a 27, 27 1 is a 27, 27 plus 1 is 28. 3y square minus 27y minus y plus 9 is equals to 0. Taking 3y is common, y minus 9 minus 1 is common y minus 9 is equals to 0 so y minus 9 and 3 y minus 1 is equals to 0 y is equals to 1 y is equals to 1 upon 3 so two values of y and y actually was 3 power x and 3 power x is equals to 1 upon 3 So 3 power x is equals to 9 and 3 power x is equals to 3 power minus 1. Sorry.
3 9 is 3 square so x is equals to 2 and x is equals to minus 1 is our answer x is equal to 2 and x is equals to minus 1 so this is again part c because two times you can see part c c so i did both parts move to part d so these are very easy question you can see 